welcome everybody. So today I'm here to help you fellow sim magicians get your wheelbase working with your Forza games on PC. Uh, this also applies to anyone running multiple pieces of gear using multiple USB ports on their computer. Because Forza doesn't seem to like that for some reason. So step number one is to go to this link here. I'll have everything down in the description. Okay, so it takes you to this Forza Emu Wheel website and you want to download version 1.4a. So go ahead and do that. I'll save it to our desktop here. Once that's done, you're going to want to click on the setup guide. And in step two, there's a link here to download VJoy device driver. And we're going to need that, so click that. It takes us over to SourceForge. After a few seconds, our download link will pop up here. And we'll save it where we saved our Forza Emu wheel. Okay, so we can close that. We can minimize that. Now, we're going to want to extract our Forza Emu wheel here. I use 7-zip, but you can use WinRAR, or WinZip, whatever you prefer. Let's extract it to a desktop here. Now, the next step, and this is critical, and it's not listed in the setup guide, um, unplug all of your devices. Otherwise, uh, when you go to install this uh, VJoy device driver, it's going to freeze up or cause issues. So a good way to tell if everything is unplugged is in your search box here. You can type in game controller and you click on set up USB game controllers and there should be nothing listed here. So now that we've confirmed everything's unplugged, we can proceed to the next step. So double click on this VJoy setup.exe and click on next. We can uncheck the demo. We don't need that. Leave the other three, click next. Install, okay, let it do its thing here. So it's installed successfully, we can click okay. We're done with that. Now this next step is critical, and this is usually why it doesn't work for some people, they miss this step. You're gonna need to configure the driver that we just installed. So click on the start button here. Under recently added, you can expand, it should show up here. If not, you can scroll down, there should be a VJoy uh, folder right there and you can click on configure VJoy okay so you're gonna want to set up everything the way it is here everything checked off on the left everything checked off on the right uh, enable VJoy down here checked off number of buttons you want set to 128 uh, your POV hat switch you want four directions and one or else this will not work Okay, I'm gonna just swap it here so my apply button shows up. We're gonna click apply. It's gonna save its settings. We're gonna close that out. Now's the time to plug in your devices and then restart your computer just so that the driver's initialized properly and then we can continue on to the next step. So through the magic of YouTube, I will see you guys in a few seconds here. Hey, welcome back everyone. So we've rebooted our PC and the next step is to fire up our SimMagic wheelbase here. So we're going to launch Race Manager, turn on the power, let it do its calibration thing here. And I uh, probably should put on the wheel because we are going to be mapping the buttons right away here. All right. And for those of you that are curious, these are my Forza Motorsport 7 settings that I'm currently using, and that is the game I'm going to be using to show you how to bind your controls in-game. It's pretty much the same for all the Forza games, though. Okay, so we'll minimize that. And we're going to go into Forza Emu Wheel and double-click on configurator.exe. This is where we're going to set up all of our controls. So on the left here is all of your axes. Uh, this can be finicky. It may take a few tries. Um, you may have to pull on your gear, step on your pedals a few times, it may be finicky, but uh, it does take and you only have to set this once, once it's set you're good to go. Okay, so that's the pedals, that's the steering and that's the handbrake set up. Now on the right is where you're going to set up all your buttons for your button boxes, your gear shift, anything like that. You can uh, set up multiple buttons uh, to the same binding. As in, um, 
if you wanted to shift up with your right paddle shifter, but you also had a sequential shifter that you wanted to use, you can map both and both will work in game. All you gotta do is click on set, click from the drop down list here, and uh, I suggest choosing these uh, Xbox buttons and filling them out. So I'll choose that and I'll push E. And then we'll go carry on through all of the other ones menu. And you're gonna wanna set up all of these buttons. And sometimes, as you can see, can take a few presses before it registers. B, sure. And okay, and you go through and you're gonna set up all of your devices this way. So forward gear one, just to show you, gear shift. And I already have a config here, so I'm just gonna load that. And as you can see, I have everything mapped out. Uh, paddle shifters for next and previous gear, uh, as well as when I have this shifter in sequential mode. Um, I have the H pattern shifts all mapped out and every other button on here is mapped out. So once you have that done, um, you can click on the force feed that feedback tab here and you can adjust these, but I recommend sticking with the default settings and adjusting in game. Okay, so once you have everything set up, click on save config, click OK and close out. And from here on out, it's basically going to be the same steps uh, to launching your Forza games. You're going to make sure your wheel is on and calibrated, have the profile that you want set up. Then you're going to go into the Forza EMU wheel folder here and double click on hush. You want to click on mute. Make sure all of your devices are muted successfully, which they are. We're going to minimize that. We're going to double click on Forza EMU wheel. Okay. You want to make sure that it finds all of your game controllers and that the, the force feedback device is your Sim Magic wheel. And it's ready to start. So we're going to click on start and minimize that. Okay. We can close that. And then we can go ahead and launch our game. So I will launch the game and I will see you in a few seconds. Alright guys, so we are in Forza Motorsport 7 now. I'll show you guys how to bind your uh, gear in game. It's going to be the same pretty much for all of your Forza games. So you're going to head to options here. Controller. Input options. And uh, it doesn't matter what you select here, you may even have a custom one, but uh, select any of them. And when you start binding your gear here, it's going to give you a custom controller one, profile 38. Now we can continue binding everything that we want. And as you'll notice as I'm binding everything, it's all saying device one. Because the magic of Forza Inu Wheel and uh, V-Joy is it kind of unifies all your devices as one device to make it play nice with Forza. So as you see, just go through, map out whatever buttons you want here. Okay, I'll show you that uh, everything is working and everything can be mapped out. And uh, we'll even go into a race just to show that the force feedback is working. Oops. So as you can see, it's uh, basically your normal setup as you normally would. It's just uh, you have Hush and Forza Emu wheel running in the background. And uh, okay, so you've set up all your buttons. You're going to want to make sure to go to Advanced. And you want to set up all your dead zones. 0 and 100. For all of your uh, pedals, your steering, your handbrake. Okay, get up there, there, zero, 100. And then I stole these settings off the Fanatec site for their DD1 and tweaked them a bit. So if you guys want, you can give it a shot. I think it feels not too bad for a base setup. Um, but once you're done tweaking around in here, uh, click save in the bottom right corner. And then there's one more thing to uh, get your wheel feeling decent in Forza and that is, uh, Going into a race, let's say free play here, and going into setup and setting up your assist. Okay, you want to make sure that your steering is set to simulation. 
as well as your damage, fuel, and tire you want to set to the simulation. And that's going to give you, I think, a pretty decent force feedback, a good feeling with the wheel. But uh, other than that, um, click accept. And uh, I'll meet you guys in game once it loads, and I will show you guys that the force feedback is working. I might even do a lap. All right, I'll see you in a few. All right, so we are in game here with Forza Motorsport 7 just to show you guys that the force feedback is working and that all my inputs are working here. I'll just go into a race. It's just kind of a quick race here. Just to, like I said, confirm with you guys that everything is working. Use my H shifter, the clutch. I got no sound, so I can't hear the RPMs, but uh, if I let go of the wheel right now, it's going to go crazy because it's... Well, the feedback is working, as I said. As I mess up the car. Oh yeah, she's real messed up. Okay. But, uh, that's all there is to it. Gets the game working. Everything works pretty good. Don't drive like me, though. <laughs> um, and when you're done, there is a process. Once you quit out your game here, um, I'll do it the quick way. You're going to want to um, bring these up here. So you're going to want to click on Stop for Forza Emi Wheel. Close that, click unmute on your hush, and close that. Now you're ready to uh, set up your next racing game. Um, if you're going to play any racing game, you would just go ahead and launch it as normal. If you want to play another Forza game, you have to do this process every time, and that is making sure your wheelbase is on, launching hush, muting your devices, launching Forza Emu Wheel, starting it, and then launching your Forza game. And then uh, quit out your game. Stop Forza Emi wheel, close that out, unmute your devices, close that out, and you're done. All right, so I hope that helped. Um, leave a like down below, subscribe if you liked what you saw, and uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.